Good afternoon. It is a personal as well as official pleasure and honor to welcome the First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, to the Capitol. The last time we met was in Glasgow. Uh, we're, um, thank you for the hospitality and organization of Scotland in forming uh, COP26. Uh, it was an honor to be there with you. Uh, thank you for your leadership in terms of protecting the planet and reducing our, uh, all of our dependence by having diversity and dependence on Russian oil. Uh, thank you also for welcoming Ukrainian immigrant uh, refugees uh, to Scotland. Uh, when we were in, in Scotland, in Glasgow, uh, we, I had the honor of also participating in a presentation, a big crowd of people coming for gender and climate. Uh, the First Minister has, in her own leadership role, been a real model uh, to women everywhere in terms of women in leadership, uh, and again, with great excellence. And again, that day, people from all over the world were able uh, to see that demonstrate that manifestation of leadership. Uh, so, Madam First Minister, welcome to the Capitol. Uh, thank you for our work together on COVID, on climate, and so many other issues. Madam Speaker, thank you very much. It is a real pleasure and privilege for me to be here in the Capitol, having the opportunity to renew my acquaintance uh, with the speaker, someone for whom I have uh, the utmost uh, respect and admiration. Um, I enjoyed very much our meeting and discussions in my home city of Glasgow during COP26, uh, where it was uh, very encouraging to see the United States show such constructive leadership in achieving the progress we made at COP26. So I'm very much looking forward to continuing these discussions with the speaker today. Uh, obviously, we live in a world that has changed dramatically since we gathered in Glasgow in November last year, not least the uh, brutal, illegal and completely unprovoked invasion by Putin of Ukraine. Uh, that is having uh, many implications, first and foremost for Ukraine, but for the world indeed. And it is a reminder of the importance of the democratic world coming together and standing together in defence of these values of freedom and democracy. Uh, Scotland and the United States are long-standing friends and allies. Uh, the United States is a very valuable and important economic and trading partner of Scotland. So it is a privilege for me to be here to renew and to strengthen that relationship as we stand together uh, as nations in defence of those values we hold dear. So, uh, Madam Speaker, thank you very much for your hospitality yeah. today. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. And if we can, uh, 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 uh